Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at the best of modern women getting shocked by men's honesty. Except, it's an hour-long episode, so kick back your feet, and let's jump right in. Right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. I'll give you a seven. Get the f*** out of here, you're wrong! Emotional, damn it! If you were to look at me and rate me on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate me? like a six. What are these men? They are savages. They must have been from the ice age. What would you rate me? A scale of one to ten. Is this for YouTube? Uh, what up, YouTube? I'll give okay. you a solid six. She really thought she was a ten, but we all know that that scale is out of a hundred. The average American male has two to three times a week. On the other hand, the average Japanese male has two to three times a year which is quite alarming considering I had no idea I was Japanese. This guy is a true savage. Just look at her reaction when he called her out. Are you guys best friends or dating? No, we're just best friends. Best friends? Okay, bet. I give you $10,000 cash right now on the spot if you guys kiss. Hell no. No? Why not? This guy's so unattractive, no one would ever date him. Damn, it's <laughs> like that? Bro, what are you gonna say about that? You know what? When you take your makeup off, you look like a dude. <laughs> this is a perfect example of if you can't take it, don't dish it out. She was in utter shock by this man's honesty. I don't know who needs to hear it, but check it out. Tell me if I'm lying. It's nothing more shit than a woman touching her lips together and shutting I'm going. <laughs> hey, at least he was honest. A lot of guys probably think like this, but they're too afraid to say it in front of their girlfriends. For the next clip, she ends up trying to catch her boyfriend cheating with an AI voice. This is actually pretty genius, and let's just say, she ends up calling to his best friend to see if it's true or not. I'm going to AI clone my boyfriend's voice, call his best friend, and figure out if he lied to me about what he was doing last night. My boyfriend's been acting very weird. I opened up a voice cloning software and imported voicemails that my boyfriend has left. I typed in a script of what I want my boyfriend to tell his friend. There's the final product. Hey man, what's up? I don't know. Are you alone? That sounds exactly like him. I'm going to use his iPad to FaceTime audio call his friend and see if his friend confirms what they were doing last night. Hey man, what's up? Not much man, just chilling. How are you feeling? Everything is fine. Kind of, I don't know. Are you alone? Yeah man, just, you know, chilling at the house. I don't remember much from last night. I don't know why I feel weird. What did I do? Dude, you got a face at McDenton's last night and you picked up some random sorority girl from UT and made out with her in front of everyone. And said we stayed at your place. Bruh, why'd you have to bring me into this? What is the worst thing an ex has done to you? Nothing, honestly. My ex has actually been really good to me. What's the worst thing you did to an ex? I cheated. Sensational. Because he accused me of cheating, so I decided I was actually gonna go do it. Who did you cheat with? A lot of people. How many people? Never cheated. Maybe four or five. Jesus Christ. He never found out. He I was, I was slick out. with it. I was slick. You were slick with it. Yeah, I got away with that. If Jesus can't save these why are you trying? This is just sad. My man has it at the end. Not even Jesus can save them. This is your exit. <laughs> Why is this so true? I swear sometimes they act like we aren't supposed to be three lanes over to get off the highway. I've come to realize that no matter how intelligent a woman is, no matter her accolades, her accomplishments, etc., she will always be boiled down to how does she look to a degree. However, let's say she's accomplished, but she's ugly. No one cares. Yeah, it sucks. You know what I mean? That w w women aren't really valued to a degree for what they for their accomplishments. They're valued on their beauty. So all I'm saying when I tell women things is understand the reality. Yo, as you get older, your value goes down. Why not consolidate on the best guy you can while the, cat, while the, the, the chips are still up? The problem is that girls want to, you know, bet against the casino. And guess what? The house always wins. And the house is father time. What y'all want to do? Just being honest here, man. <laughs> he basically said women get uglier as they age in the nicest way possible. It made you feel the way you do? Because I honestly, like... Yeah. My buddy John Gacy used to be a really good guy. He was going to Harvard. Honestly, he was put at the top of his class. Uh -huh. He ended up uh, falling into OF. He ended up getting, you know, a subscription to that. And, you know, he's no longer with us. They took his face. Okay. 
Okay. What? So, so obviously, oh my, God, I'm sorry my buddy John that. Gacy is gone now. It's triggering. But you even you were laughing at John. I maybe. wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, I was trying to understand you. Put the camera on her, and if she's being honest, then say rest in peace. I said I'm sorry for your loss. No, rest in peace to who? You're not being sincere about this. No, <clears throat> your friend. You weren't even listening. I was listening. What's his name? John Gacy. I'm sorry <laughs> for his loss. Like I'm trying okay, to. Thank you. Why are you I'm laughing? Sorry. I'm not Why are you laughing. laughing. My buddy John Gacy. Is the death of his friend funny to you? There is no shot she doesn't know who John Gacy is. Come on now. Well, in what sense is our society male dominated? Uh, the fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital and is owned by men. Women do more unpaid it's a very, labor. Very tiny proportion of men, and a huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Uh, most men, most people who wars are men. People who do worse in school are men. It's like, where's the dominance here precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of the of Western society. There's nothing about that that's vaguely appropriate. Legend has it, she left the set and started crying that very day. Do you think it's too early to add you to my Instagram bio? Can you share a location with me? I just want to make sure, like, in case anything happens, I know where you are. I know we've only been together for, like, a week, but I really love you. Just to get things out of the way, my phone password is 541, my middle name is Fatiha, and my social security number is 715. Red flags all around. This is the perfect representation of a toxic relationship in the making. Wow, are you single? Uh, what? Are you single? Yes. Oh, you are? Can I get your number? Um, that's weird. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you? Casey. Casey, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to you. meet you. Uh, yeah, I like your outfit and everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You just want my number based on the way that I look physically? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, I'll take that as a compliment, Casey. Okay, thank Have you. Have a good night. You too. This just goes to show that men shouldn't be afraid of women. This man has no riz at all, but still was able to pull her. Good work. What has been your biggest financial mistake? <laughs> My ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay. In what way? <laughs> Vacations and, you know, just dinners. Just okay. didn't work out. And this is why she's your ex-girlfriend? This is why. Okay. Ex and if you could go back, what would you change? That was a good experience, so yeah. lesson learned. I don't think I'd change much. Lesson learned. So yeah. now just pay for less vacations and dinners? Yeah, stay single. Stay single. Okay, <laughs> that's the advice. Well, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you. Jeez, bro was a savage for that one. He had no hesitation in sharing his answer. You think that selling your line and you think the money that you make from that translates to any sort of intelligence or skill? I have a degree. A degree in what? Philosophy. I could go <laughs> to grad school and become a lawyer if okay. I wanted. That's a good point. You could have become a very well-respected lawyer, had a good career. What do you think your kids are going to think when they said, oh, my mom had two options. They could have been a philosopher and a lawyer who made a lot of money, but they decided to be an online for two years, and then when they got ugly, now nobody wants to hire them anymore because they ruined their name and their reputation. She just realized he did not hold back in the slightest. Oh, she pretty much admitted that she used this guy for fun. Are you gonna ask me what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong, babe. Since you asked, babe, last night, I looked up your most compatible zodiac sign, and it said Leo. Three days ago, you liked this girl Layla's picture on Instagram, and she's a Leo. What is going on? Do you ever think we'll get married? Like, when do you think we'll actually get married? Here she is again, another prime example of a toxic relationship as it progresses. Australia just gave us carte blanche on anything we wanted in Truly. the whole place. I mean, like, do you see the way she's looking at him? <laughs> if that was my man, if that was my man, that just simply wouldn't be my man anymore. <laughs> Looks like she's a bit too stunned by the truth. Well, I wish her the best of luck in finding a perfect man. Tyler runs into girl that called him ugly in high school. <laughs> you know why I don't respect every New Yorker because y'all come in a lot polite. Are you a nice person on the regular? 
Yo, we went to school together. What you talking about? Who? <laughs> we went to school together. Who? You want me to say the school? Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what you talking about? Let me this big real quick. <gasps> we did go to school with each other. Word of my mother. You the same height as me. Yo, shut up. <laughs> we are though. How, how tall are you? I'm five nine. Oh, so you didn't grow since high school. Guess how tall I am. How tall are you? I'm six feet. Oh wow. In high school, you was taller than me. Mm-hmm. Be honest. In high school, you think I was you think you think I was a weirdo in high school? No, you was <laughs> you was the same. <laughs> You think I was cute in high school? Why would you ask me that? I'm asking, I need to know. Yeah, a little. You're lying! She told I mean she told me I was ugly in high school. Because you used to be she goofing told around. told me I was oh, yo, you gotta yo You just fucking lied. You told me I was ugly in high school, and now you're gonna come on my live five years later and tell me you think I was good in high school? You told me I was ugly in high school. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings in high school. You told me I was I ugly. Not tell you, that. you told me I was ugly, I was shorter than you, and you played with me in high school. Now you got the nerve five years later to tell me that you thought I was cute. <laughs> You literally called me ugly to you my- You be goofing around. Years later, and she regrets her decision to call him ugly. He's doing way better off now. What makes a high-value woman? Oh, God. What's that? The concept's foreign to you. Modesty, being demure. Modesty. What does mo modesty? Yeah, modesty in character, modesty in appearance, modesty in her demeanor. You just don't like it when a woman is outspoken. You're intimidated by that. You just met me oh, like 10 minutes well, ago. Okay, and let's... Bro, how did she not even know what a high value woman meant? If any young women are watching, please do not model your lifestyle after her. Jesus. Thank you very much. <coughs> and that's from the Christian man. Yes, I'm looking out for you young ladies. If you I'm ever, not judging if you. you ever, that's fine, but if you ever want to get married, there's a lot of young girls out there who want to get married someday. If pictures of yourself doing things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. What are your kids going to think of this? They're I think Northwest is doing just asshole. fine. Nor Northwest. Yeah, she's living oh, her life. Kanye's. Yeah. yeah, she's doing great with her mom. Yeah, I mean, given the option between a mom who has on the internet versus one who doesn't have internet, I would prefer if all of my friends couldn't see my mom being other dudes. And so I still no consider myself a Christian. I still consider myself a Christian. Yeah. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and I'm not a judgmental person like oh. you. I swear, girls just don't like to see the bad side of having adult content. And it's concerning. Yeah, like and that's that. Bro has some really good points here. It's definitely a red flag if she's going out alone. But some girls just can't accept that. Hey, I'm just trying to tell you that yeah, you, I told you I don't have your purse is on top of your car. Is this woman for real? Not even a thank you? Damn. Prepared to do. You follow so many girls. I follow 40 girls, 20 of which are family and friends. I can name them. I know them. Right? This is why I follow them. Oh, you follow me. Shut your mouth. You've had this conversation with me before. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time telling me. Who's texting? I'm going to listen to them. Oh, you need your sock. You need your sock. Man just needs his sock. That's all I want. I want my sock. I want to talk about fucking the phone. I've also got a person I met in the club last night. Don't be in the phone. Talking about where we were. You was doing this and the other. You were there. I was. I was. I went to sleep there. Fucking rubbish. I'm not dealing with it, Jamal. Hey. I love you, man. <laughs> I mean, bro definitely isn't wrong. 
Sometimes these women are just too much to handle. What's your ideal Asian man? Honestly, older than me. So I'm 25, but no older than 35. So 25 to 35? 26. Right. I already dated a younger man. I won't do it again. Ideal race? Over six feet. Beefy. Race. Race. I'm getting there. Oh, sorry. I'm just giving you more detail. Okay, okay, okay. Beefy black men. All right, and then you said six foot? Yeah. Minimum income. I mean, I would love a man with six figures, so yeah. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a .069%. I've already found mine. He asked for the ideal race, and she told him an ideal height. Nice one. I'm simply trying to give you guys an analogy so you can understand where men are coming from. Whether you guys want to accept it or not, the, the biggest investment that a man is going to make is into his potential future wife. Something that's pretty serious, because here's the thing. It's not funny that men get divorced by women 80% of the time. It's not funny that 90% of alimony is paid from men to women. It's not funny that guys don't get to see their children. It's not funny that a woman can cheat on you, divorce you, and still take your money and your children from you. It's not funny. And it's extremely disrespectful for you guys to come on the platform, laugh about me saying, hey, men have to pay full price, which is marriage, okay? Because he has to bring so many other things to the table to get a, to get a wife, and only thing he really expects in return is some level of decency and purity. So it's not funny. If you guys laugh off the camera like that again, we're gonna kick you out. Well, not all women do what he described. He has a great point. It truly is unfair. Birthday, like you really just should have paid for all of our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's Even food. It's your birthday, cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. What? Why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 friends. I'm gonna leave you. You been here with me? You coming with me? You are you? Like, why is she expecting him to pay for all of their food? Not only his own girl, but all 18 of them. Now that is just messed up. Women our age are more likely to be in relationships than men. Which makes you think, who is everybody dating at the end of the day? If the women aren't dating the men, then... What crosses my mind is I think there's perhaps two explanations. One, women in that age group are dating older men, 30 to 40. But I think the bigger thing is, is that women are maybe think they're in a relationship or are in a relationship and they're sharing higher quality guys. So, and there's this concept called hypergamy. Women are all chasing after the top tier of men. So a lot of women are happier sharing a top tier guy than settling for a guy that's actually on their level. Wow, this is actually a very interesting point in a statistic that should be researched a little more. French girls is uh, very dangerous for me. I'm not gonna be much danger. Why? I'm a boyfriend. <laughs> Ah, but no, no rings or anything. No. One year, it's not enough. I agree, it's not enough at all. When I came to approach you, what was the first thing you noticed about me? You have nice eyes. I can't see yours. Very intense. So what would it take for you to like leave your boyfriend? That's not possible. 10 million. Yeah, we can discuss. <laughs> <laughs> we got student loans to pay back. Oh, what are you studying? Media communication. You should be studying quantum risk. What's that? You don't st study quantum risk in school? No. Demand them though. Is that science space? Demand them though. Demand them though? She really just exposed herself on camera. What was she thinking? I hope her boyfriend sees this one. Feminism it turns women into men, and it actually makes men weaker. I'm sure you could also see the, the rise of feminine men. From what you're saying, it does sound inherently misogynistic. Can you define misogyny for me? Specifically, actually, I have a... So you don't know? You have to look it up? Dang, it even looked like she started looking on Google for the answers. Wrong. Yes, this guy is absolutely right. She wasn't even able to respond by the end of this one. You ever notice that the people that say body count doesn't matter always have the highest body counts? Or people that say, oh, you shouldn't be judged off of your past relationships always have the most terrible past relationship histories. You know, a lot of times people are just avoiding the pain that comes with being held accountable right? They don't want to feel the shame because the shame typically comes with accountability and accountability is painful, right? And their realities are painful enough because they make terrible life decisions, right? So if I hold them accountable, they can't have that. So you know how they avoid the accountability? By trying to shame you, <laughs> shame you for, you know, actually caring about how many people I've slept with. Shame you for actually caring about my past relationship histories, you know, and, and that actually mattering to you and, and shame you for vetting me. 
I should be able to just date you because I exist and I'm a person. I'm a good person, right? Doesn't that count for something? Man is stating nothing but facts here. It's always the ones with high body counts who don't think it matters. But in reality, they just don't see the problem. Ask the ladies to rate themselves oh, on can, a scale of 1 to 10. Rate that. your physical appearance. 10. 10. 10. I guess a 10. I don't I already said this. I'm a 10. Yeah, I'm a 10. 10. Yeah, probably a 10. 10 though? Really? I want to be honest. You don't like, think we're 10? I asked you this yesterday and you didn't a, answer. Women are delusional these days. Most of the time they think they're a 10 because of all the attention that they're getting on social media and dating apps. I bet you if you line up six guys right there and ask them if they're a 1 through 10, they'll be honest and be like, oh, I'm, I'm a solid 5. You know, girls can't do that. Uh, they've been gassed up so much that they all think that they're pretty princesses and 10s. I can't believe they all rated themselves 10s. Like, how are they that confident in themselves? You are losing weight because you want to feel better, be in less pain, be healthier, all of these, these things, that's how okay. Excuse me? Everyone wants something nowadays. Losing weight is not a phobic of any kind. You're not a traditional woman. I think I am to like a lot of outsiders. Like if I don't tell people what I do, like I look like a traditional well, woman. Do you have social media? Yeah, so if I was looking at a girl, she doesn't have to tell me her body count. I'm just gonna look at her social media, who she hangs out with. And social media is a dead giveaway. Obviously, I could find the OnlyFans. Honestly, just if you look at, at my social Instagram. media, it is so, like, there's nothing there. What? You, what? <laughs> no, like, no, like, oh, you got some crazy no. feed pics and sh <laughs> on it. Bro, like, you got, like, no you got your crotch right yeah, here, and your feet are, like, oh, right so here, <laughs> and it's like... In our generation, this is super true. Sometimes you just gotta look at their social media to find the truth. You want a traditional man in a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Would it be fair to say you're a traditional woman? I can answer For the that. most part, yes. Okay, but would a traditional woman have her body half naked on Instagram? See, that's where I... Okay, but, but hear me out. You're exposing yourself in a sexual way. Right. You're condoning that. I think it's based on the partnership. I think your partner would have to really okay, be comfortable with your Okay, but you want a traditional man. You want a traditional man. But see, this is the problem with mo a lot of modern day women. They don't want to be a traditional woman. Okay, so if you were the man, the love of your life, and he was the perfect guy that you 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 created, and that's the guy who says, Christina, you're in love with me. You do anything for Yep, I'll do anything for you. You do anything for me. I want you to to close your Instagram account. Would you do it? If I didn't have to rely on Instagram for work, and this was the perfect scenario where I knew this was my husband, I would not take away what makes me Christina. But then you're not. But you're not being traditional. She really thought she was a traditional woman for having an OnlyFans. No way, Jose. It's all about me, me, me. If you could change to the opposite for the day, oh, yeah. what are you doing? Probably go to a club and use men to like buy me drinks and get. I mean, I kind of do that already with like gay clubs, but I usually tell them I'm not sober enough to be gay. Then they buy me drinks. Yeah, that's a tip right there. So, bro was playing a dangerous game. The honesty, though. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Totally. Ja? Check it out. No, no, please. What's this? It's a gift. Yeah, <laughs> look at it, please. Now that is an amazing husband right there. Please tell me they are still together and this is real. That car is out of this world. I be hearing the way y'all talk about us, ladies. I do. Y'all say we not. Y'all say we not smart. Y'all say we not smooth. So how do these that's not smart, not smooth, not keep finessing you? How? If it's not you, how do 
that's not smart? How do that don't got don't do shit, don't give you how they keep getting over on you? Who is it? If that's not smart, if we got no game, if we don't know how to Hold cheat, on, who is it? Hold like, on, I'm not trying out. to be rude. I'm saying y'all not vetting these, bro. <laughs> who the y'all y'all do you invest. Are. You let him tell you he got some plans for you, and you start investing immediately. Y- y- y'all don't require no type of evidence for you know what I'm saying? Like, who was you before you got here? What do you provide yourself? Do you feel safe in your own skin? Hey, can like, what is that? Y'all, y'all don't have none of these answers from nobody, and then y'all come back outside and talk about it's a shortage. Beloved, you never had the answers to the test. Here, take this crown, King. This guy is an amazing speaker. How short is too short in a guy? Honestly, I'm really short. But because of my tattoo, you definitely have to be over six foot. Huh? Over six foot. All right. Uh, how tall are you? 4'11". All right. How tall do you think I am? 5'9". Wonderful. Okay, so look, I'm going to shoot my shot like um, Devin Booker. Can I bag you? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait what? Right now? What? Right now? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you want to? Go on a date right now? You trying to do something sure? I want your shirt. Bro, didn't she just say over six foot? And then she went after him at five foot nine? Is it a red flag if a girl has a high body count? Uh, yeah, of course. What do you mean, of course? Why does she have a high body count? I don't know, maybe because why does a guy have a high body count? A guy and a girl are not the same. And what do you think a high body count is? Anything over two. Over two? Yeah. So basically, if she's not a virgin. Yeah, you should save your body for your husband. This question shouldn't even be asked. Of course it's a huge red flag. There are a lot of modern women out there that are panicking around the ages 28 to 31 because they're exiting the party phase and they're desperate to find a beta provider. They're thinking, please God, I know I've been a bad girl sleeping around with chads, but I'm ready to be a good girl the rest of my life if you give me a blue-pilled guy. And she typically finds a poor sold simp to tie the knot, or she becomes a pompous career woman cat lady the rest of her life. Bro just summed up the majority of girls these days. They know exactly what they've done and now are shocked when they can't find a man. Babe, I don't really like mine. Can we trade? Hunter, we just got our food. Yeah, I don't really like it. That looks really good. Yeah, I know I, it's really good. It's can, a baked pancake. Yeah, can we you trade? No, Hunter. You know I love pancakes, babe. Then why didn't you order it? I don't know. I thought I would like this, but I, I really don't. But I'm so excited. Oh, that's okay. I'm paying, so I'll have it. Thank you. I love you. Technically, he did pay for it, so that's that. She really can't complain about it. Sweet you. My pronouns are they. Okay, wasn't expecting that one, but what a great surprise. Well, tell us again what we even need men for. Yeah, Use man. men to get their... Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. Let's say all the men evaporated right now. Within a day or two, the infrastructure would collapse. The power grids, all the jobs that keep the world running the way it is with the first world world is dominated by men. Women do not work these jobs. 99% of inventions created by men. I'm not saying men are better than women. It's just that when it comes to survival, you need men. She just had the hottest take of 2023. Luckily, this guy was here to shut her down. There is a higher burden on men to perform. For example, we have the burden of having to be the initiators. I don't think you deny that. Men have to initiate. Um, Gen- generally speaking, men have to initiate. Women men have want to- that, generally, yeah. Sure, me- yeah. women want it, but let's say a guy, he's shy, he's introverted, he's socially awkward, has social anxiety. He's probably f- whereas like, and actually, I mean, there's so many ways I can tackle this. Like a guy who's neurodivergent is gonna have a much harder time getting a girl than a girl who's neurodivergent. Also, like even a chick in a wheelchair, bro, she could she could put up some bodies. Whereas like a dude in a wheelchair, he's gonna struggle. Amputee? Wow, this is so facts. Men are held to such a higher standard when it comes to dating, and there's no denying that. Excuse me, Hey! How you doing? Well, why you, why you make that face? No, 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 not at all. I would never say something like that. I just wanted to come over here and tell you that I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. Why are you looking around like that? My name's McQueen. You gotta give me a chance to say what's up. Okay. Introduce myself. Are you Spanish? Yes. What breed of Latino are you? Hey. I'm Colombian. 
damn, bitch. Hey. I mean, what, what are you saying? What did you say? No, 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 I was just saying, damn. My man is hilarious, out here using that gaslighting riz. If you could change to the opposite for the day. No, 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 absolutely not. Impossible. Impossible. Nope. Impossible. He was not having it with that question, and that is for certain. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I'm, I'm traveling. I don't, I, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. And what state is that? Any state. It's common law. Natural law. Lady, Officer Banks, call Police Police Partners. I'm pointing you over. You're doing 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, before you got off the bridge. And uh, so you just came off the bridge. All this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yes, yeah, yes, you do. You do not. Ma'am, step out the vehicle. Step Damn. out the vehicle. Am I? Am I you, am you're, not a yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. Either you step out the vehicle, or I will remove you from the vehicle. I know my rights. This lady really thought she was above the law. Hearing the truth must have hurt pretty badly. Take any any person's. Money from OnlyFans. But you're taking their money. I'm not taking it. They're objectively, you're taking their money. I'm not, you know what objectively not. means or no? Like, I don't know how to explain it other than what it means, but yes. So what does it mean? It means what it means. That's not a good explanation. Dang, he had her jumbled up on her words. Matan is a legend for putting the truth into these ladies. What's your ideal agent, man? 19 or older. I do race. I don't think I have one. So any? Any, yeah. Minimum height? 6'5". <laughs> I'm so sorry. Listen, it's not my fault. <laughs> Minimum income? Like 400k or more. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a 0% chance. <laughs> Stop, you're lying! Alright guys, I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Not even a single chance in the world. Solid zero all around. It's not my fault. Listen, you can do whatever you want with your body, but at the end of the day, when you end up in your 30s and you're crying like these women in their 30s, yeah, because the men like us are not picking them because of the choices they made, they're not going to tell you this. They're going to tell you it's all about you. They're going to tell you, oh, it's the men's fault. Hmm. You're going to find out. And then you know what happens then? They become very humble. Now they want to start cooking and making a salad. Oh, you got two youths. Oh, by Chad and Tyrone and Jerome. Oh, three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you want to... Now you now, can get more than a sandwich. Yeah, and, 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 and this is the thing. They try to get humble in their 30s. Yeah, in late 30s, they start to get real humble when they come with extra baggage, right? And what I'm trying to say to you is they're not going to tell you this. Very true. There's no room for complaining about not being picked when you made those bad decisions. Before you ask, yes, she is completely fine, but she pretty much just proved herself wrong in the video. <laughs> That's why, like, don't get me wrong, I definitely do believe men, women, equals. I just don't think we're equal all the time. <laughs> like, if it, like, if I had to bet money on a dunking contest, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put my money on men. Like. So this is the truth, guys. Nothing else to it. We're gonna make that bread in a dunking contest. He's actually uh, pretty prosperous. He's making close to forty thousand dollars a year. But what are you laughing at? You're I'm laughing at you? very, very low income. But it's okay. It's okay. You know what? Did, what do you think the average income is? The average minimum is a hundred thousand. Like that's barely making it in California, especially too. That's like minimum wage. Huh? He didn't have an answer for that one. Is this girl on something? How short is too short in a guy? I mean, I'm from New York, so you're gonna have to be like 6'6 six, six to ride this ride. 6'6? Mm. Six, six. How tall are you? I'm like 5'4. How tall do you think I am? Like 5'6. Wonderful. Uh, okay, so look, I'm gonna shoot my shot like I'm Devin Booker. Can I bag you? I mean, how about I bag you? Like, what's good? Stop playing with me. What's good? Hello? You, you trying to do something strange for a piece of ch- I mean, you're looking real good right now, so stop playing with me. What's up? 
She's doing later. All right. Dang, that Riz was on point though. But six foot six is insane. You gotta remember when guys are out working hard, putting a dent in the universe, and they're doing something of some significance. They don't want to come home to a nightmare. They don't want to come home to a fight. They don't want to come home to. Why do they want pleasantries, love, a nice meal? They want to see beauty. Very great point. Men do not want to work all day only to come home to have a fight. Just give them a hug or something. Any conspiracy theories that you've heard, like or seen on the internet, that you think that could be true? That girls are loyal. <laughs> okay, that was a straight up savage answer. We had to put this girl back on because of how these men are answering. These boyfriends are pathetic. I mean, this really just proved that these girls are not loyal. Focus on yourselves, King. So that was a tough loss. Um, how do you feel after that? How the f you think I feel? I ask no dumb ass questions. Get, get it all out, get it all out. I don't feel like right now. They feel amazing. They take a loss. I mean, yeah. We we're supposed to win, we better than that. Wow, Snoop sounded off on that girl. See, even Snoop Dogg can shut these women down. What's your ideal age in it? Uh, 19. What's your ideal race? White. Minimum height? 5'10", 5'11". Minimum income? As long as you can care. Do you have a number? No. That could be like 1,000. No. I'll do 100 to 200. I'll do 200 just for funds. <laughs> <laughs> the probability of you finding your ideal man is a 0%. <laughs> This girl had not a clue of what she was talking about here. Too delusional. This clip was hilarious. Man is true to himself and isn't afraid of superficial women. Not to be like crazy or anything, but I texted you last night at 7.04 and you were active on Instagram at 7.05 and you didn't text me back till 7.10. So what were you doing from 7.04 to 7.10 on Instagram that was so important to not text me back right away? Babe, I care about you so much I air tagged your pants because if your phone breaks or you lose your phone, at least I know exactly where you are. I'm so happy that we're so healthy together. <sighs> and any guy would be so lucky to have me. Take me home. I don't understand how girls can stalk other guys and blame the guy for it. Like, isn't it her fault for stalking him? A lot of you guys have been asking me- Nobody's been asking you Bro just took over the show. Now that was a funny one. Except, sorry. You have been dating your girl for however long, five years. Yeah. You take her to Turks and Caicos. Mm -hmm. You open up her phone and you've seen something from 10 years ago. You're calling it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like dead. Yeah. You've already, dad, this is what I'm doing. Like this, this, you're calling it off. Let me ask you another question then. <laughs> one more time. Another dream scenario to make so this all makes sense. Let's say you go to a fortune teller. Hmm. That man of your dreams, you find out five years from now he's gonna be broke no 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 ability to provide security for you alcoholic he's gonna become an alcoholic would you stay with him now that you're armed with this information no fantastic <laughs> <laughs> women are interested in a man's future a man is interested in a woman's past so that's the difference we are completely opposite in the way we view the opposite gender the way we view the way we view relationships, there's a masculine and a feminine. There are things that men can do that women can't and vice versa. Wow. When you flip the concepts, it all makes sense. Men and women have different views on relationships. What's your ideal age in a man? 45 to 55. Ideal race? White. Minimum height? Uh, six foot. Six foot, beauty. Minimum income? 100,000. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a 0.74%. She already found him! Let's go! That's the man! W! She was definitely describing her husband here. Lucky gal. Unfortunately, well, running out of time, but Peter, I just want to get one final thought from you. Are there words that are used to describe men that offend you? Uh, not particularly, and, and if, if there were some I don't like, I certainly wouldn't want them banned. But it go, do you know, it always goes back to that old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but there will always be something to offend a feminist.
Peter Lloyd. Well, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lloyd, sorry. You, okay, have to, you have to Wait, give me a I chance we'll to respond to that. On this. Dang, there is no way he ended off the news segment by saying this. How many bodies in college do you think you got? In college? Yeah. Only two. What's the chances I can make that three? Shit, your number. Yeah. I have 25 right now. 25 is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. I've been assaulted one time. Having to deal with all of that is why I slept with a lot of guys. Sorry to hear that. So you're saying 25 bodies while I'm 22 is crazy. You putting up brawn numbers. Like so you don't give a f about people being a police assaulted or anything like that. What? No, that's what the she really got so shocked when he said 25 bodies is crazy? That's more than crazy. That is a whole classroom. Yo, someone DM'd me and said you're cute, and then they DM'd me again, like, a couple of days later and said JK, never mind, I didn't see your forehead. <laughs> Dang, well this girl just got absolutely destroyed. She really thought... You have no reason to be down, pretty lady. I personally would date you in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't, but you gotta keep your head up. <laughs> Tupac said that. Bro definitely had us in the first half. Good for him, telling this lady the truth. Put 10, like 70,000 dollars. Not married in. any okay. race. Not married any race and not obese. Not obese, guess? earning okay. 70,000 per year. Anybody want to take a guess? What do you think? 18. 18%. 10%. 15%. 15? 12. What do you think? 10%. What do you think? 7%. Yeah. 20. 20? Guys, we went below 100,000. We went below six feet tall. It is 1.5% of men that you guys are describing. <laughs> Dang, they all had the wrong answer. Notice how shocked they got? Killed it. Let me do something that I'm afraid nobody wants to, to hear or know. The women got a pool or got paid out from a pool of $30 million from the Women's World Cup. The men would draw from a pool of $400 million, okay? $400 million, $30 million. Why is that? It's because the Men's World Cup generates $6 billion in revenue. Mm -hmm. The Women's World Cup generates $131 million in revenue. Wow. If you want to talk about pay disparity, the Women's World Cup players get paid out 20% of the total revenue. The men get paid out 7%. As a percentage what? point, they are getting much more. The problem is, for anybody desiring equal pay, and by the way, I think equal pay is a ridiculous concept in and of itself. It if the women generate more revenue, they should get paid more than the men. Don't strive for getting the same, strive for getting what you're worth. And if you're worth more, then get more. You know, they keep making the same argument over and over, but they still are just wrong over and over. The data backs this man up. Would you ever date somebody that your mate's been with? No. Why? Because it's used and abused, I don't touch that. Oh, used and abused! Yup, straight up facts. Why would you want to date someone who's gone with your mate? That's just weird as heck. You had no interest in him, but he'd take you out to dinner. Yeah, he's actually on here right now. He's in the chat. Yeah, Wait. Harvey took me out to dinner one like a few times, oh, but no. no interest. Me and him are like best friends now. Oh, he's okay. like one of my closest friends, yeah. So he's in the friend zone. Oh, he's been in the friend Rip zone. Candles in the chat for, <laughs> for Harvey. Oh, Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. You see how they're all laughing at you? You got played, brother, for free meals from this big-chested woman. So she friend zones him after he's taken her to two dinners or I don't know how much money he spent on her. And now she's mocking him on the internet. This is why I preach coffee dates. Don't let this happen to you. I really hope girls don't take the dinner date for free food, but from this clip, it seems like it could be so. Have you ever been cheated? Yeah. yeah. Do you deserve better? Yes. Yeah. Describe one point why you deserve better. Every time I need is 10 10, I need the best. So why did you cheat? Huh? Yeah, drinking dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah, yeah. We obviously don't know the full story, but dang, bro got her good. What's your ideal age, man? Any age that could be a daddy is good. <laughs> but how old are you? I'm 24. Okay, so what's your number? Uh, I'll give it to you after. Ideal race? I don't know. Nobody looks at your race. So it's all any? about a vibe. So any? Yes. Minimum height? Well, I'm short as so anyone that's taller than me. Minimum income? I mean, at least more than 100. The probability of you finding your ideal man? It's a 4.6% chance. Well, <laughs> let's be real, we already found him. Didn't you want my number earlier? Wait. I mean, up until she stated the income, it seemed her standards were pretty normal. He's taking care of you, right? He came to your rescue, right? No? Did he not come to your rescue? 
I feel like we... Did he not come to your rescue? Just a yes or no question. Did he come to your rescue when in a car accident? Yeah, he was Is there. he the one working and paying the bills? He was, yeah. Is he the one working and paying the bills? Yeah. Okay, great. Everything we're saying. So, of course, yes, you're going to take all those things. Any person who's in a situation where they're a single mother would take all of those things. But a woman who's going to value those things would understand not to do anything to jeopardize it. And you're not there yet. And that's I why you like can't get married. I feel like that was the beginning of a relationship. <sighs> um, I just take a deep breath on that because I want you to find love and I want you to have what you want. But when you say things like the beginning of the relationship, girl, you're still in the beginning of the relationship. It's five months. When the truth was revealed, she was shocked. What more is there to say? What? What are you all doing in here? Are you okay? We're gonna have so much fun with you. What do you mean fun? There's a party. What? Where does this lead? Is that door open? Is that a power cord? Huh? <laughs> See, if this was the other way around, the men would probably be taken off Earth. But since they're girls, nothing is wrong, right? <laughs> I mean, he ain't wrong at all. This just shows how much women cost sometimes. I've watched your videos. Obviously, but there's something about your videos that I've caught, and I, I mean it in the most respectful way ever. I don't. I'm not saying this disrespectfully or anything. Your eyes. See your eyes. Yeah. I have a twitch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Was that your impression? Do it again. Okay. Do Do your impression again. <laughs> That was terrible. The thing is, Elia, when I talk about it, I do it a lot more. So now you're just going to make me twitch loads. She tried so hard to mock him, but was so surprised when he shut her down. So we, both of you do OnlyFans. How much do you make? I make a lot. I make a lot. How much per month? I think um, it's like kind of tacky to say like exactly how much money you make. I mean, it's, it's tacky not... to be on OnlyFans in the first place. Oh. But... Fired. I, know. <laughs> I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Um, that's like bad vibes right there. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> like, um, Disagreement is bad vibes. Wow, she got told off by another girl. Dude didn't even have to say anything. Female dominated industries are, are beauty related, correct? Yeah, that's the way things are right now. That should change. Well, right, but why would women want to give up their power? If they can use it to, you Because know. it shouldn't be the only power that we're able to hold in society. Well, whether it should... When you don't give women a fair chance to gain power, they're going to do whatever it takes. Well, is there anything stopping women from getting power any other way? Yes, yes, men. Well, I mean, but men also give women their power, correct? Not enough of it. Well, obviously, if all Not the men... Not in the ways it matters. If all, if all the men in the world were gay, how would women get power? They should just... Because they're f women. What does that mean? They're strong... And well, better than men. Well, right, but I'm saying if women couldn't use to control men, then how would they get power? Skip. Men don't have a say in women's life. Uh, Do you think the empowerment of women in any way contributes to their own objectification? No. Does the fact does the fact that and OnlyFans exist prove that women are okay being objectified as long as they're getting paid? No. It means that we can use our body the way that we want to without men's control. Do you consider work to be real work? Yes. Yes. And if you don't, you suck. Why are women more accepting of women who can sell but are less likely to accept a man who can buy it? Because it's empowering to be able to do what you want with your body when you want to be able to do it. But isn't that like shaming your own customers? No. Well, how can you be a victim of your own product? Because it's my body. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. She is a red flag of a person, and she's just unbearable to listen to. The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't, really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. And <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow, okay. Why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just, I like humbling men. You like humbling men? Yeah. So like, 
My pastime. Your pastime is humbling men. Mm -hmm. You do work at a strip club, so. Do you humble men there? No, I take their money. She just got called out, and for many good reasons. This might be the most toxic girl in the world. The men who get a girlfriend and then just completely forget about themselves and focus their whole entire world around them, they lose themselves. They lose their purpose. They lose their motivation to, to level up in life. They lose their motivation to achieve more. They get comfortable and they settle. And this is one of the saddest things you'll ever see happen to a guy. Bro is speaking nothing but facts here. Never let yourself go for a woman. You must be yourself. Being humbled by for men in 40 seconds. Oh. Um, so we're just all gathered here today because I wanted to get your number. Okay, all right. So I wanted to get your number. That's why we're gathered here today. I'm gay, I'm sorry. Oh, this isn't going yes. terrible. What about you? What's your excuse? He's actually gay too. Oh my God, what about you? I'm not, but I'm less, so I mean, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Damn, not a single one of them wanted her. Tough luck. I love that last guy, though. What's your craziest confession? Cheated on my boyfriend three times. Okay, why? Uh, because he's a d okay. <laughs> I'm still in love with my ex-boyfriend, and I have a new boyfriend. I beg your pardon? Oh. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> We're about to go see him. It's an evil world we live in. They both belong to the streets, I'll tell you that much. Excuse me. How you doing? Where? What's your name? Ashley, my name's McQueen, nice to meet you. I had this feeling when I came in here. I'm like, I don't know what I want. And then when I walked in here, I'm like, yeah, I know what I want. I feel like I want to take you to my house, go in the bedroom and make my bed go <laughs> while I'm hitting you with my Roddy. Okay. How you feel about that? Jeez, bro is just a walking Riz God. Those Roddy Ridge pickup lines just hit different. I keep these guys okay. who are doing hold more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're missing what I'm doing here. <laughs> Remember how you said, oh, well, you'll f these girls and h etc. Yeah. Just like you have guys in the friend zone category, and then you have guys that you f men are the same way. We have girls that we f zone, and then girls we commit to. That's what you call this f zoning. Yes. Okay, cool. So, wow, this alpha literally shut her down on camera. That was great. She couldn't even speak. She was so shocked. Did you know that 25% of the women in the United States are getting treated for a mental illness? That means 75% of them are running around untreated. The thing is, he isn't wrong, but I think he could have been a bit nicer with that one. Your IQ needs to be... Do you want to talk about IQs? What do you think the average IQ is? I don't give a frick about an IQ. All I know is I have money, and I can do what I want when I want. I don't give a frick about anything. I'm smart, I okay, get money, so and I know how to make you money, have the so money? my IQ doesn't matter. I'm smart as hell. In what degree? You said what? In what degree? The Bill Clinton kid is absolutely fearless. Gotta love his energy. The thing that women never want to admit is that, and I've, I've said this a million times, you know, all girls are gold diggers, some are just better at hiding the shovel. Yep. And what I mean by that, right, is you got the girl that says, I want ambition, or I want drive, blah, 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 which is code term for the ability to procure resources for a later time for me. Or there's some girls that are overt about it. I want to, I got a big shovel, I need a guy that's a millionaire, etc., because I make money, or I, I deserve it. So. Yes, you can sit here and say, I like it for him, but the, the thing is this, women typically just end at 10, but they don't go one, two, three, four, five. The man has to count one, two, three, four, five, because he's not gonna get to 10 and even be seen unless he has certain prerequisites. Well, he seems to have a good point here, but I think there might, just might be, still some non-gold digging women out there. You just gotta look really hard. Who is that? Really? Wow. It's terrible. Honesty always wins. My man is a savage even to his own daughter. Men are typically expected to court women, approach women, ask them out on dates, maybe pick them up, pay for dates, make the first move, etc. What are women expected to do to build a relationship? So I'm talking about that initial stage. What are women expected to do? Wait, so are, are, we, are we saying that, like, are we saying that, like, like, he takes you on a date? Like, no, he's, like, so, like, when you're, like, let's say, like, the first date, like, usually on a first date, like, a guy picks you up, like, he takes you there, and he's, like, expected to pay, but, like, what are, like, you expected to do, kind of, like, in these, like, dating, like, you're, scenarios? Just be yourself. Bring good conversation. Be yourself, like, 
like are you expected to to impress him do you want to do a party trick i don't know i feel like the cricket noises made this video so much better they tried their hardest and that's the sad part and actually i think women can make up for it their looks in some ways and that's by being feminine submissive like if, if a girl like can bring you peace i think most men would sacrifice on the looks front if she brings you peace, she's feminine, she's submissive. I think you ask most men, would you rather have like a chick who's a nine, who's a smoke show, who's an absolute babe, but she's fuck just, you know, just like masculine and uncooperative and all this stuff and promiscuous, that's the other thing. If you're, you're or you have a low body count, that can bump you up in terms of your attractiveness to a guy. It's not all about the looks. Sometimes we just want a girl that brings us peace. I'm definitely an eight par. I give myself a five. I think I'm normal looking. Mm -hmm. And I, I just think it's based on my results. I think if I was an eight, nine, or 10, I would have had modeling contracts. Because people in the top 20% of beauty, they get modeling contracts. Mm -hmm. What is beauty? So what, what is beauty? You can go online and have people rate your pictures and they, they rank you one to 10. And men will rate you, women will rate you like every day. That stuff's not really important to me. Sure. Like, don't you think attractiveness is based on results? It may be, but I don't care about those results. Sometimes it takes another woman spilling the truth for women to know what's up. What is your body count? Three. Is that the truth? Whatever she says is true. Yeah, okay, what is your body count? Two. <laughs> Why are you lying to me? All right, all right. Three. No, stop <laughs> lying. Say the all right, like 14. You're yeah. like 22, so it's fine. Is that the it's truth? It's literally not, though. Hey, no, no, it ain't. I like you, man. You lie a lot. Dang, he called her bluff twice, and she still wasn't even there. I'm going to be honest with you. You're not a 10. All right. I'm mm. not saying that to be mean, but you're not a 10. It's only fair, right? You you rated me. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna rate you, but uh, I'll just say that you're not a ten. Okay. That doesn't hurt me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to hurt you. Are you down to revise your answer? If we got makeup remover. No, my makeup's expensive. Why would I want to take it off? Uh, oh, I see. The makeup is too expensive to take off, and that's the one and only reason. Babe. Why did you change your phone password? That's what I put, 3345. Oh, sorry. Must have hit the wrong number or something. Will you please unfollow all those girls on Instagram? Me unfollow all the guys. You don't even know them. Yeah, but I know how girls operate. Do you think you'll ever get bored of me? You're right. I have like 50 personalities. How could you get bored of me? That's a good thing, right? Right off the bat, she's accusing him of something, and then she's wrong. She tries to play it off, blaming him for other things. Please let me out, please. You really think you could just break up with me and I'd let you go? Oh. Yeah, why'd you break up with her? I just, yeah. I just want to be free. Silly, silly man. You know you're mine forever, right? Uh-oh, it looks like this guy is in a trap now. You can tell by the look in her eyes. Yo, what's up, baby? Uh, do you know what they're like? Ah, directions? why are you sitting so close to me? Get out of my space! You cannot breathe the same air as me! Excuse Don't me? you know I'm so much prettier than you? Get away from me! Damn, it's like that, okay, chill. Why are you so rude? Go away! How about this? How about you take all the makeup off your face? You look like a dude. I feel invisible. It's a honey niggas in spot. I will keep going. I will no way bro brought up the makeup. The oldest trick in the book, but surely a good one. Now that is what I call a YouTube short ah uh, clip. Hi, sorry to bother you. Are you single? Oh, okay. I'm gonna take this chair, thank you. Damn, well, that was just so cold. Dating in relationships, who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the woman? The woman. Ooh, the woman for sure. The woman? The woman. The woman. So if the woman is the prize, what would that make the man? The wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that place the man at a lower value and status to the woman? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher? Yeah. Yes. So don't women typically want to date a man who's a prize and not a loser? No, I like to be better. So if a woman declares herself the prize, isn't that relationship destined to fail? No, because I think, actually, I know I'm a prize. And so I think that a man should value me for what I am. So a man is just a bank to you, but they still need to respect you? Show some class, lady. I don't know who needs to hear this, but go hug that man with your throat. Have a good day.
This girl is amazing for making this video. It's great to see a woman advocating for men. Bare minimum tips, part 13. Guys, it's 2023. We should all have bed frames by now. I don't want to see anybody's mattress on the floor. Get a full length mirror so you can see how your whole outfit looks on you before you leave the house. This is just to make sure your fit isn't mismatched. And last, decorate your room in some way. You spend a ton of time in your room so you may as well make it look nice. He has amazing tips for young men. Definitely follow his advice. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, sorry. Didn't turn red yet. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Okay, I'm Gabrielle. Give each other a chance. Yeah, let's okay. give each other a chance. Let's, let's. Yeah, let's okay, you want to do that? I do see you as a friend. Though. No. What an absolute savage. She wasn't able to reject him, so he did it himself. Men don't get paid more than women because they do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Women earn less because they deserve less. The reason why women earn less on average is because women work less hours, they work less dangerous jobs, they don't work career fields that are higher earning, and women are less likely to take as many risks as men are to earn income. That the top 10 paying jobs, right, are dominated by men versus the top least paying jobs are dominated by women because women don't have the same interests as men. Women get paid less because of choice. Women dominate college, yet they still earn less. They dominate college graduation, yet they still earn less. Women go into majors that pay less because of choice. They want to go into social sciences and not STEM. When you actually equate apples to apples, right, all working individuals with the same profession, same career, same education, same experience, etc., women actually earn more than men. Okay. Everything he's saying can be backed up by evidence, but she still can't agree with him. If you're making 100K a year, how much do you want your guy to make? Like, we'll say a good 400. 400,000. Oh, 400, 400, yeah. 100K guy? a year? That's a lot. I would say 200. 200. Oh. I would say 100, like the same. Yeah. Okay. You know that only the top 15% of the US is making 100K, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah. I guess I expect the most. <laughs> 150, 200. Okay. I was thinking 400. Okay. No, that's 400. So much. No, that's, okay. that's too much. So why do you want your guy to make that much more than you? I guess just so that I don't have to worry about anything ever. I don't know. Like, why not? If I can find him, then why not? So you just look nice and pretty, and he just takes care of everything. It's like a trophy wife. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. So what do you think about this statement? My money is our money, and her money is hers. Period. Oh, I love that <laughs> statement. I love that's that. Right. If you that's marry exactly someone, right. Like you need to be like. That's that. exactly right. <laughs> but I think I also think that our money is our money. I, would share, I don't need I would my share own, my but money. like I would too. I would 100 percent share I think my money. It's ours. 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. But if they want to just have mine as mine, that's okay too. But like, <laughs> yeah. I would be open to sharing it. Wow, just proving that these girls are so greedy. Why does he have to make four times your amount of money? Let the man live. Sorry, I never texted you. That's okay, f you. Why? Because f you don't want to kiss me. A kiss? Right now? Yeah. Just kidding. Ah. How does that make you feel that I don't want to kiss you? It just makes you a donut ass Me? Yeah, you. How does that make me that? What do you mean? Why does it make me that for not kissing you? Because anyone here would. Really? Yeah, I bet. Watch this. All right, go get wait. a guy. Prove it to me. OK, wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Will you kiss me for me? Okay, <laughs> <Come>, bye! <laughs> <laughs> She really thought she was her. Sorry, but you aren't that girl. To be honest, I never date a gringo. Really? Why? Just look. <coughs> <laughs> I remember when I arrived here, my friends in Brazil, oh, how the boys, and I was like, man, I don't know, I think I'm <laughs> ugly because they look like they don't to do anything with you. I think Brazil is like, we love eye okay. contact. We look at you, it's like, so how is going? Like, you know, like, your smile is beautiful. And they just don't do anything. I don't like, even go to a second date with a guy like that. I, would. I miss the intimacy. I don't know, for five minutes, if he's in break from work, he will make sure to text you and say, I love yeah. you. I yeah. miss you. Brazilian men are vulnerable. Yeah, someone needs to tell her that different cultures have different dating styles. You get called a creep if you dare make eye contact here. What's your favorite question? I said the motorbike. A what? The motorbike. What's that? <laughs> you don't know. Listen, I can speak loud in the words, and I'm not going to tell you, but I'll show you. No, you can tell me. No. Nah. Sounds like hard work. It probably is. What is it? So you'll find out after the date. Tell me what it means. No. I might not be able to do it. Sure. Yeah, I'll make sure you are. With consent, of course. 
with consent. That's cleared up. He's smooth with it. You can tell how shocked this lady was by his honesty. I wonder what the position is, though. Hi guys, it's Lizzie Lohan. We're doing special pass today because everyone wants a boyfriend at the races. Smash yeah. pass. Pass. Smash or pass. Uh, smash. Hey, smash or pass. Gotta be smash. Yeah. Smash. Smash or pass. Four points. Four points in her sixty ages. Like that's rude. Smash or pass. I'm not fussy, so smash. For the ones who said pass, you passed the test. For the others, stop simping already. This is a funny one. The caption read, this is why I never leave the house. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.